If you want cheap Microsoft points and game codes, check out g2a.com. Links in the description below. Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you a squad builder built around four Team of the Weeks that have just been released. They're in the newest Team of the Week, Team of the Week 31, is it? Yeah, three of them are still ridiculously rare, and you can't get them on the market as of making this video. One of them has just came around on the market, and a lot are getting listed. Uh, I've also got one older Team of the Week in this, and the rest of them are normal players. But uh, yeah, let's just get straight into this. So, goalkeeper, you can have one of two. You can either have... Uh, Claudio Bravo or you can have uh, Testegen. I'm going to go with Testegen just for the fact that he's a little bit more solid in my opinion. He's six foot two as well and yeah he's a fairly standard goalkeeper. Nothing exceptional but you know he does the job. Then you've got PK in form. He's the in form I was on about that isn't one of the new ones. Fairly decent 89 defending 80 physical and he actually stays back even though he's got high medium work rates. I tend to find he stays back whereas this one here he is the one that I was on about that isn't rare anymore. It's still really rare to get him for 30k. I was really lucky with that. Um, I got him literally a couple of hours after he came out and someone decided to list him for 30k when they could have got 50k. But oh well, 77 pace, 86 defending and 85 physical. Let's see how many are on the market now. Yep, there's pages. How much can I actually sell him for? Let's have a look. Wow. Alright, he literally goes for about 49k. So that's pretty good. I'll make a good profit when I eventually sell him. On the right, I'm going to put the league in because I've got a lot of right backs, uh, if I can remember the league. There we go. Liga Portuguesa, we've got the upgraded Danilo. Of course, he's transferred to Real Madrid, so he'll have his Real Madrid card. I'm not sure if they'll do one for FIFA 15. They might. They probably will if he gets a team of the season. And then, obviously, for FIFA 16, he plays for Real Madrid now. So, uh, yeah, he's got all-round amazing stats, and obviously he's an upgrade. So, yeah, this was the first time I used him, and he's very, very solid. I'll go over all the players in the uh, highlights at the end. Of course, as I always do, left-back, we're going to put Aspel Equator in. He is a very good, uh, again, he's upgraded. He's very good. Uh, his normal card, I didn't really think a lot of it, which is kind of weird, but this one... I really do think it is very good. The only slight downside I've got with him is that he's quite small, so he doesn't win a lot of headers, but, you know, that's a small price to pay, in my opinion. Then we've got Casemiro, another Porto player, Brazilian. He's only there for chemistry. He's not amazing, but he's probably better than what you would expect. He's not going to, like, score you a lot of goals. He's not going to be amazing. He's more defensive, but he's better than what you would probably expect, and he's necessary there for chemistry reasons. The other centre mid, uh, we're going to go back into the BPL. We've got our second rain form. We've got Ander Herrera. I was delighted when he got this for his two goals past in Villa. I've been waiting for an in form all year for Ander Herrera, and I'm so happy he's got one. He's not amazing in the game, but he's fairly good. He's got decent dribbling, decent passing. He's six foot, so he's quite strong. People probably wouldn't expect that. And he's got four star skill moves and four star weak foot. He'd be great as a cam with high medium work rates. And just to show that there shouldn't be any on the market. All right, there's one. There you go. It's expired instantly. That's the kind of thing that happens with these informs. So, yeah, they'll eventually become available to you. So don't worry about that if you do want to pick them up. Now, the left wing is someone who, again, is there for chemistry. But he might be a bit of a hidden gem if you look at his stats. I didn't really use him as a... As someone who would shoot, he was mainly there to assist the other players in the team, and you'll understand why soon. But yeah, good stats overall for a 75 rate non rare player, and he's also got low defensive work rate and four star skills and four star weak foot. So, you know, he's there for chemistry, but it's nice trying these unknown players out. I do enjoy doing so because you sometimes find some hidden gems, and yeah. The next player is the only silver in the team, I believe. It's also the first five-star skiller, one of two, and it's Vitinho. I have packed him. He is roughly 11 to 21k, I believe. Yep, five-star skills and decent stats for a 72-rated card. Then we move on to the third in form in this team. Is it? No. Why did I put Christian Teo there? You can put Teo there if you want, but I'm going to put in form Charisma. Again, very rare. Let's see if the, he's still not available. There you go. He's not on there. I'm surprised because his price range is 50k to 75k. I got mine for 73 and I think that's a decent price. But I think people are using Nani's upgrade on the left and they're waiting for Jackson Martinez's inevitable team of the season most consistent card. So they can use these three as a trio because that'll be pretty deadly. But yeah, he's the second five star skiller and also the last one in this team. And then we've got the rarest card that I have in this team and that is Inform Hulk. 
incredible stats. Obviously, he's a striker, 83 pace, 83 dribbling, 91 shooting, 81 passing, and 88 physical. Four-star skill moves. He's got two-star weak foot, but that's not too much of a hindrance, and I'll go uh, over why in the highlights. 500k, and just to prove that there are none on the market, there you go. It took me hours to get this motherfucker, and I mean hours. It took me forever. Let me know if you want a video explaining the best way to get new informs instantly, to try, like the best chance that you've got, because you've got to be so quick. Literally, there was hooks expiring in less than a second when I was getting them. It was so annoying. I nearly picked one up for 400k, but I couldn't quite get there in time. So anyway, we'll move straight on to the highlights, but there's the team, and yeah, I'll show you the highlights now. So starting from the back, as I say, Tostegan isn't an amazing keeper, but he does the job more or less. Sometimes he makes a, an occasional mistake, but most keepers on this game do. The two informed centre-backs, PK and Mate uh, Mateo, Mateo, however the hell you say it, I think it's Mateo, but anyway, they work well as a partnership. Mateo gets forward a little bit more than PK. PK doesn't have as much pace though, so that's good. So it provides a little bit of cover, a little bit extra cover, I suppose. Uh, the two fullbacks, very similar players. I'd say Danilo is better than Azpilicueta, but they're both solid in their jobs. And yeah, I do like them both there because they've got similar attributes and they are very similar players. Then, Casemiro, as I say, he's nothing special, but he's a bit better than what you think. Uh, his passing's decent, all right? He didn't really create any errors that uh, led into goals or whatever. I didn't really notice him doing too much wrong, which is good, but again, he's only there for chemistry. Under Herrera's in form, very good. Um, I would recommend you try him. As I say, he's got a little bit more strength than what you would probably want, and he's only 30k. He'll probably be a lot cheaper when he eventually becomes on the market, so he's worth a try. If you've tried his normal cards, you'll probably know what I'm on about. If you don't want to try Herrera, then you can, of course, get Fabregas there. That'll work on this team or you could get uh, maybe Santi Cozola's in form or something like that but anyway then you've got Vitino very good silver it's the second time I've used him I think I bought him before I packed him and yeah very very solid and with those five star skills really really epic as I say the left wing is a little bit of a hidden gem he's all right nothing amazing but yeah definitely great for a 75 rated non-rare left wing Caresma on the right very good he's got the skills he's also got great dribbling and crossing which is perfect when you've got that man Hulk up front he is a man beast I was gonna say man mountain that sounds a bit better so yeah let me know if you do want a player review on this guy because uh, I'll bring that out tomorrow if you do and this goal was one of the funniest I've scored on FIFA I loved it so much so yeah I'll I'll just sign out with this goal right now.